Hello everyone and welcome to another TDR Family Gaming video. This is Droid TDR and today, Lamin, what are we doing? We're going to Conda Village to find out what happened. What on earth happened to one of the people whose visions got stolen? And I already remember this guy. Do you remember this guy? He's like, I don't know where my purpose went. What's going on in life? Who am I? And that was kind of the, the thing with him. So, sad. Speed of light. Sad situation for him. But we'll just pop these guys real quick. Because they are slimes and they deserve the popping. Take that, foul slime. All right, now there's gems there. I don't know if that's going to be important, but we will just put a little marker there saying, here's a little gem area. Gem area. Confirm. Maybe that'll be important someday. Later. Not to date her. adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. Where is that guy going? Seriously? Where's that guy going? Zigzagging you. Oh, he's over here. And he gave us a chest. Nice. Thank you, sir. That's everything. Hunt well, let us next. teleport, shall we? T! 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 Oh, crumb. I did not anticipate that. We go. Huh? Oh, not these guys. Yeah, Her Majesty's power throws through. Uh, you're water, lady. You deserve to be electrolyzed. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. Only 99 damage, though. Why? Stronger than I thought. Speed of light. Uh oh. That's gonna hurt in the morning. I'm going in. Incoming. Get out of here. Take cover. Take cover. Why is that guy not getting destroyed? Prepare to be blown away. That guy is not getting destroyed either. Hmm. No. How do you get out of that thing? Just watch me. Get out of here! Team out of my sight! Alright, there she got her. Yeah. Nowhere to hide! Come on. In this body. There you go. Oh, that guy's still here? He's still here, too. Can't run from debt. Whew. Can't run from debt. True enough. An exquisite oh, no, chest. Quite as exquisite. As treasure is concerned. Quite exquisite, I gotta say. And some hero's wit we got from that. That's nice. Okay, so that Sealy like got us some cool stuff and then led us into a trap. <laughs> what was that all about? Alright. And we have nobody that can do a quick heal for us all. Except for Barbara's here. Alright, well let's do that. Let's do a quick Barbara moment. Well, we gotta wander the world because officially make the acquaintance of Ayako. Which we did. So that's good. Nothing else there. And then party up. Barbara's here. Let's go, Barbara. 
You're the quick we can do this. way to save food, aren't you? Yes, you are. Let's do Q. Yay! Everyone sing. And Benny. Fireman. Surrounded by water. Heal up a little more. One shot. Two shot. Come on, one more. Bam. And then a little bit for Traveler. And there we go. Back to Benny, and that's gone. Thanks, Barbara. You can go back onto the bench. Because we like keychain out here. Let's go. Time is against us. Time is against us. Let's go. Got to go to the show right over here in Conda Village. All right. Hmm. This is the guy. Let's see, what is the person Ayaka told us about? He's Why the guy with whitish hair who doesn't know what Why he's doing. Why leave all of a sudden after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children right, are desperate see. for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. That must hmm. be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go what? see. Yep, there's the the Flakazoo. Flakadoo. Yeah. Alright, guys. What's going uh, on? You must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Yep. Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Mm-hmm. And now he's Keeping flaking. Keeping up the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near. Resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place. And we all think the world of him. But okay. now, all of a sudden, plans to leave us. he says he plans Why? to leave us. I may apologize if that's the case. All right, let's talk to you, Mr. <sighs> Mr. Lying Head of Town. If you want my opinion, something to do with the it's vision clear hunters, that yes, had done nothing wrong, and still they confiscated his vision. He After became a that, completely different person. He became a completely different person. Totally I can't get claim it. To fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village, village a few came. times. And then, out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Okay. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't uh, yes, feel right Yes, he's a lost soul. Looks like he's a well-respected guy. Yeah, well-respected guy. Why are you leaving to Jim Jim? Because you have no purpose or direction. You must Your be aspirations are gone. So we already know. Up and leave Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. Because everyone's depending True. on you. But that's not why I chose to stay here. Okay. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Okay, since they Ever took your since vision. They took my vision away. It's like a slice of my memory is gone. In the past, I knew I wanted to stay here. Hmm. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's Why to not stop me move from around. running around instead? The emptiness inside me will be there either way. True okay. enough, okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh, okay. maybe if you just try, <laughs> try harder, harder to remember, yeah, that works. it'll all come flooding back? Yeah, right. Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Diary? I keep a diary? Oh, yes, yes, you do. And what's more, I remember you saying. You wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. 
Hmm. Interesting things. Perfect. So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, just find the diary. We'll if you don't Easy. mind, we will leave you to find the diary. We should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation. Okie dokie. Let's do it, Mr. Smokey. Um, find clues to the diary. Fetch quest in this area. All right, I'm seeing something here. There's a log. This looks like Tejima's diary, all right. Okay. Let's see what we have today. The villagers, villagers and I got, got together to cook dry braised salted fish. fish. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Ch today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. I'm sure I pulled After him out. I pulled him out he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon before finding out that Bamboo was, <laughs> was the, name the name of his, of his pet, pet crab. crab. That's hysterical. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never, never going, going to get, get it back, back, so I just found somewhere so to sit and watch it fly into the distance. Watch as it flew away into the distance. How nice. Hmm. Seems like your average diary of daily village life. Huh? Wait! There's more! Okay. I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Hmm. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for. Time to pay a visit to the shrine! Alright, let's get the shrine token thing. And take his lavender melon. Uh, go investigate the shrine nearby. I saw the shrine, and it opened up my eyes, I saw the shrine. Where is it? It's right here, I'll visit. Okay. So this is the Omomori Tejima wrote about. Okay. Hmm, interesting. The most valuable Looking thing to him. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. Hmm. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some Perhaps of there is energy elemental energy in it. Do you think that it might come in handy? Sure. Great. Let's get the thing. Use elemental sight to find clues. What? Clues for the what? Clues in the... Go this way. Okay. Go... Through the house. <laughs> okay. Go this way. Go back this way. Check. Three rocks. Here we are. This seems to be somewhere that Tejima visited a lot. Okay. The soil looks like it's been disturbed. Yeah, maybe, maybe he buried Tejima something. Buried something precious mm. here. Some must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around. Let's for take a look. Let's dig up this old man's <gasps> secrets. It looks like a letter. Written a really <laughs> long time ago. If we became village. separated during the war, Sounds go so wait familiar. for me in Kondo Village. Where is that place again? There will be a safe home for us there. Huh. It's here, uh -huh. silly. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. I guess he didn't show up. Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. Yeah, let's do it. All right, yellowed letter. The meaning of meaningless waiting. Hey, dude. Guess what? We found an old be. letter. That's certainly my handwriting. And I guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me too. Probably. But I have no memory still. It's clear that I was waiting for someone here. Waiting for Godot. I chose to wait for 30 years. Yeah. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were finally reunited. Ah, uh, do we know it was a her? Maybe it was your best friend. And just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. 
Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. Sure does. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? You've been hollowed out. Now that I think about mm. it, when my vision was taken from me, it felt like I'd suddenly been hollowed out. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. So I guess he does, he does remember no. it was, uh... A lady. Not especially. Huh. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, hmm. the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. As if all these years have been nothing but a hazy dream. Hmm. So plan on leaving? I think maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. I suppose. Although, what if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? Mm, when I think about maybe, it Maybe, maybe not. I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... Missing. Missing. <sighs> yep, okay. Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. You bet. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Brilliant. Hejima seems to be dealing... okay. But still... It makes Paimon really sad. Yep, and losing the... It seems it's just oh, like Ayaka man, it's just and horrible. Are saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejimo was in earlier. Yep. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, let's go find the next person. Find the next tortured soul. The next sob story. According to Miss Kamisato, the second one who lost their vision is a samurai from the Tenryo Commission. And he is 313 that way, huh? Well, I do say this is probably the fastest way there. Adventure time. Adventure time. And the next lost person who lost their vision. Actually, let's pick up a quest on the way. Why? Because it might give us some insto primos. Hey, 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 hey. Alright, tell me something new. Sure, what you don't know. There's a place called Liyue on the other side of the ocean. Like, oh, it's super famous for rocks, you know? But definitely you don't know those rocks in Liyue are actual little animals. They can run, yell, and jump. What? That's so cool. What about Fontaine? All roads of Fontaine are built in midair. What? Wagons of people ride fly like egrets. Really? What about Sumeru? Locals have it more difficult. All the grass is all over the ground there. They eat and drink grass. There's no egg rolls. Oh, man. If only I could get out of here, I'd probably be on the other side of the sea already. Oh, rocky animals. Flying wagons, please wait for me. That's hysterical. Um, Midori, what's going on here? Whoopsie, sorry kids. Didn't mean to hit you with my sword. Oops. Well, I'm running out of new stories to tell. What kind of story? The story is by Uncle Ramsay. Says he's too many countries has been too interesting things. In order to record these things, he wrote something called a travelogue. Showed me a lot of his travelogues. For example, there's a kind of iron carriage that flies in the sky of Fontaine. It runs along an invisible road. It takes no time to travel from one end of the village to the other. There's a special kind of grass in Samara, which can be planted anywhere. It can be planted on soil, water, sand. Once planted, it sprouts and grows. And, and there's um, a boat. You can stay at the bottom of the sea for a long time. By riding in that boat, people can go to deep sea to do all kinds of things, see all kinds of fish. I want that because there's a waypoint under the sea. Anyway, that's what Uncle Ramsey told me. Well, that's not the point. Recently, he stopped sending me his travelogues for some reason, so I'm running out of stories. You know, Uncle Ramsey has been staying in Kamoro Tea House, Wanted to go find him, but the gatekeeper won't let me in because I'm a kid. You look old enough. Can you get Uncle Ramsey to tell me what happened to those travelogues? Uh, sure. Uh, you look like a reliable person. I'll see. Oh? Are you interested in reading some travelogues? No problem. 
Just give them to me when you're finished. I, I, I'll go with you, although I can't get in. I can wait near the tea house. I'm so looking forward to reading his travelogues. Nice. That's kind of a cool little side quest. Keeping kids entertained. All right, but this is a good place to pause. For today, we're going to go find the next person on the sadness journey of woe. With the visions stripped from them in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye. Benny's Adventure Team, assemble! Oh. 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 Or not.